There is my breakfast for today's adventure. Mini mentecadas. Canoes. Bimbo says hi, by the way. And, yep, that is my breakfast. I am at the 29th annual Hot Wheels Collector Convention in Los Angeles, California. And many of you that will be watching this are here with me. There are quite a few people. Also a lot of sellers. And what I wanted to do here is kind of show you what I got yesterday. I know a lot of you are going to be looking for these online. Those are the collector cars. Now there's a Silverado too, but I couldn't find it. I have it. I just can't find it. <laughs> it's, it's already packed. Um, anyways, you're going to see all these in another video, but I know that car especially, you get a better view of it, that car especially there has been uh, very, very popular. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the convention here at the beginning, and then I'll do some, uh, if I get a chance, I'll do some shots today. There's a few folks here that I would like to visit with and uh, get you some, some more information. So, um, there's are my customs, by the way. You'll see those a little bit more in a future video. I don't want to take them out and break my customs before we show them in the show. Um, so, back to this one, the Hot Wheels Collector Convention. This is annual, so it's every year somewhere around the end of September, beginning of October. And it's, it's always billed in Los Angeles, but it, um, it has been in Orange County. This year it's in Los Angeles. Last year it was in Los Angeles. And they don't announce where it's going to be until about, um, about six months out from the convention. You can go to, uh, there you go, there's the site. Um, anyways. There's the site. You can go to the site and it will be updated. But don't worry if it doesn't get updated right after the show because they don't, they don't post where the show is going to be until about six months out. So uh, this year it's in Los Angeles. And for folks that are thinking of coming, I, I did get a few emails throughout the year. People asking me about, about the show and like what's the best way to go. And the room-to-room -room trading kind of confuses folks that are new to this and so forth. So real quickly... If you're thinking of coming, here is uh, how close we are to the airport. The airport's right over there, that big area out there. That's the LAX airport, LAX International. And uh, we're about a quarter mile from the main gate of LAX. So if you're thinking of coming out, you're, you're not going to pay much in cabs getting to and from the hotel. And all these hotel here have uh, hotel shuttles if you want to do that. The show runs Thursday through basically Sunday, but if you are looking for the cheapest route to get out here to see the most, if you took a red-eye flight out Friday morning, stayed all day Friday, got a room here at whatever hotel they're holding it at, and it does change hotels, but they all seem to be right here at LAX, um, stayed Friday night and then stayed through Saturday to the final event when you get the convention car. They have kind of a big party show at the end of Saturday. Get your free, con well, it's not free, you already paid for it, but get your convention car then. And uh, flew out Saturday night. You, you, that's about the least amount of time you could spend here and, and uh, be able to see everything. So I, I got a few emails about people asking me that. So I'm going to turn this around here. I don't. I need, need to. Um, well, that's about as good as I'm going to get. I got here without a tripod somehow or another. So there I am. This is early Friday morning, and uh, I got here about midday yesterday. So I haven't had a ton of time to look around. I'll show you a few things I got. I got tons of stuff here, but I'll show you a few of the things I got. There we go. Down a bit. There we go. And just to uh, give you an idea what they got. So I won't give you the prices on all of these. You guys know I don't pay a lot. If you guys don't, 
The people here sure do. <laughs> they don't even try to sell me on anything. They cost a lot. I wanted to show you some of these classics. Uh, I picked up uh, a, basically a collection of classics. That's just one of them. But they were a buck a piece. And for a buck a piece, I wasn't going to pass up on them because I don't think I'll ever see them any cheaper than that. There was actually about twice as many more than what I got. Ignore the prices on all these. The, the prices actually weren't even me trying to undercut the seller. It's just that's what the collection, the seller. The sellers buy from other sellers, from other sellers and other sellers. So they buy collections and anyways, that's how it works. So the prices aren't ever usually what these cost. Uh, there's another one. So uh, none of these are special or hard to find, but very cool. I also found this car, and this one's interesting because it was part of the uh, that special series that was released a while back. This one isn't. This one is just a Hot Wheels Hall of Fame. But you know, I got I really like those AAR Kudos. And I didn't have this one, so I was excited to find that one. That's pretty cool. Uh, again, nothing, I, I kind of have a general rule at these conventions that I don't buy too much that's over $2. And usually uh, from the different collectors that are here, I'll try to just kind of bundle stuff together. I did find a whole bunch of these. I'm only showing you these. Just to kind of give you an example, this is that old, I think that one's a boulevard. Nothing special about it, but um, I picked up enough of these to do the holiday editions, and you'll see those once they're done, but I was able to pick up about 40 of these for a buck a piece. So we've got all the same axle length as what I need for the other cars. So that gives me, that'll save me quite a bit of time. Uh, like I mentioned, we've got the convention car. Oh, here we go. I just found the Silverado. Show you real quick. This one is from the Nationals convention. The Nationals is the other convention put on by the same folks. Nationals is usually in um, uh, somewhere around the Midwest. This one was in uh, Kentucky, but uh, that one's the 15th Nationals. I don't know if, yeah, that was this year in March. I just like that drag dairy. And here's the Silverado from this year. And if you're wondering how this works, I know a lot of the viewers are kind of young and new to uh, collecting. These shows, the two, the Nationals, and we'll call this one the Hot Wheels Convention, are, they're annual. They are room-to-room -room conventions. And if you've never been to a show like that, it can be a little overwhelming. It's basically folks will set up in their room a... Uh, store and some guys just throw everything on the bed other guys will bring in huge rack system and shelf systems and lights and displays and they put it in their room and then they put a sign or something on the door that tells you that they are selling and not just some some poor family that happened to be staying in the middle of all this and you just walk in they'll have the door open so you just walk in and then usually the guys selling will be sitting there along with a bunch of other collectors and they're just milling about that hotel room. That's where the, the guys sleep and eat. And there might be somebody sleeping on the bed and you're just looking at all the wheels around them. My wife is really put off by the whole system. She doesn't like that, that system. She feels weird about it. I, I don't. I guess just get used to it. Everybody else here does too. And if you've been a collector for any length of time, you'll know. You'll, you'll know a third of the people right off the bat anyway. So, yeah, you just walk in. And some of the rooms are really neat. They may have, like, red lines, and maybe they've got them under glass or something, like a real store. And other rooms literally just look like you walked into somebody's attic where Hot Wheels exploded. They're just, it's just piled high. I'm amazed sometimes these guys can even get that much stuff in the room sometimes. And then uh, sometimes the stuff is priced and sometimes it's not. You can talk to the people and make deals. It's like a swap meet atmosphere. It's just in a hotel, if that makes sense. And it's, it's basically only die-cast cars. It's not just Hot Wheels. It's, it's whatever anybody wants to sell, but mostly die-cast cars. And you uh, buy a pass. 
I think the pass for this year was, I want to say 75 bucks. And then uh, when you get your pass, you have the opportunity to buy convention cars. So the convention cars for this year were the uh, Datsun, the Combi, and the Silverado. And then there'll be a fourth car that's given to you in the Saturday night event, which I'm not remembering the official name of. But it's kind of like a big celebration for Hot Wheels. They award the... Um, uh, awards for the various contests that are going on here um, and then Mattel announces some of the new things that they have coming up for the upcoming year so um, that car you get one of for each paid admission and you don't have to pay for that one you basically already paid but you have to go to that one so if you're gonna come out here you really want to be here Saturday night or else you won't get your car they won't send it to you, you have to be at the event and, um, and then those three other cars I mentioned are 25 bucks a piece. You can buy up to two. There's really no way around that system. If you want to buy more, well, then Sunday morning they have a big, we'll call it, show. <laughs> Complicated word. I think of it more of kind of a swap meet. It's here at the um, hotel. And that's open to the public, so you don't have to have a pass to come to that. But pass holders get in an hour early and have first dibs on it if you want to do that. It's usually mostly the same sellers that are in the room um, with a few new ones mixed in. And you can get really good deals there because they're usually trying to dump stuff that they don't want to uh, take home with them. Or at least a lot of them do. I'm not going to go to that show this year, I don't think. Um, I know... I know a lot of the sellers that are selling, so I've seen most of the stuff that they have. Uh, but that's Sunday morning. And Sunday morning, if you want to buy more of the convention cars, then you can rush here and you can buy, I think, up to two more. Or may I don't think it's unlimited. Maybe it's one per person or two per person. I've never bought on Sunday the convention cars. But uh, you can buy some more if you want. And so it's possible to leave here with maybe like four of the same casting or something. Anyway, somebody can correct me. I, I don't usually buy the convention cars um, on Sunday. So, uh, getting back to the cars and showing you some of the things I got. These I'm really excited about. And I'll have to do a video because there's too many of these to show you. But I got a whole bunch of super fast, And there are not a lot of super fast here. And I got these, every one of them I got for less than $2. And they are in just premium condition. I don't know if I can say they're in mint condition, but just very excited to add these to my collection. Here's one I've been looking for for a while. In fact, this is the only one I've ever seen of this, is with the little black top. It's not a, I don't think any of these are in the range of super hard to find. A little Citron. A little Citron. Um, and some of these aren't even worth a whole lot more than what I paid for them. But I was, I was thrilled to have found these in the condition that they're in and for that price. Um, there's a few, there's two here that I paid two fifty for, and we, we get a lot of super fast, the super fast price are coming up, by the way, a little bit, um, but th this one vendor had a box of matchbox cars, and most of them were either Lesney's or super fast, and they were 25 cents each. Most of them were just trashed, so I didn't pick them up. But I picked up any of them that I thought were in pretty good shape. So that was 25 cents. Here we have a few of those. But, uh, I mean, for that price, 25 cents. This one's missing its hooks. But I have like five of these, and none of them have their little, uh, their little toe arms on them. 25 cents. And that's not normal, so don't... Don't rush out here thinking there's some fantastic price. Uh, a lot of cars are priced too high. I mean, there's a lot of guys that are trying to make money, too. So, 
Anyways, I'll show you those super fast in another video. There's probably close to a hundred here. I'm just real excited about the super fast. You guys know I love the super fast. So, Protectos. Um, I got some for... Here, I'll show you what we got. Protectos. Got those for 50 cents each. These are the old Hot Wheel Protectos. So, don't usually see those. And pick those up. We've got a bunch more five packs. Got those for two dollars each. I don't think there's anything in there worth anything. Whole bunch of loose cars down there. Those cases, I got uh, twice that many, and they were ten dollars for the whole lot. I keep my customs in those cases on the shelves. Also, uh, in another video, I bought a shelving unit. It's funny what they sell here, but three plexiglass shelving units for twenty bucks a piece. I already moved those out to the car, but very excited about that. And then uh, down here is a very dirty case that I'm pretty sure I can clean up when I get home, and that's packed full of cars. So that was just the first day. I wanted to kind of give you an overview, and I wanted to start this video by just telling you how you can get out here. So next year, if you're interested in coming, um, look on the website. But like I mentioned, if you're looking for the probably the cheapest route, it would be that fly in Thursday morning or Friday morning, red eye flight Friday morning, and then uh, stay through Saturday. But we are real close to the airport. That's good. And that airport will serve us anywhere in the world, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to cut this off, and then hopefully I'll have some more material that I can add on to this about the rest of the convention. So, I've got this opportunity, I'm going to be showing my custom that's going in the show with one of Albert's customs. You know Albert, Albert Avia from Cool 51 Designs. And I'm going to put the link down below there, he's on Instagram, so you can go follow him. But Albert is one of my favorites, and you might recognize this piece right here. I picked it out, because that is one of my favorites that he's done. Albert does everything. Sculpture stuff, paint stuff, decal stuff, you name it. And I have been following Albert on Instagram all year. I got to meet him here. And Albert's actually camping out here with another one of my favorite people. That is Jimmy Chavez. And uh, what do you know Jimmy's link right off hand is a boxman? The boxman. The boxman. Boxman designs. And he's on Facebook. Instagram. Instagram. All right. I will post those too. I have, I have uh, Jimmy's link at home. I'll post that. And uh, I'm going to show you real quick what uh, Albert and Jimmy are working on. And if you don't know Boxman, Jimmy, he's doing the uh, he's doing the packaging. He does crazy packaging stuff. And Albert's doing these cool little beer cars here. They're very cool. And I'm sure Albert will sell you some if you go by that link down below. <laughs> But uh, that's one of the cars that I'm going to put in the um, custom contest later today. And uh, Albert's going to put one of his in. You haven't decided which one yet, right? Not yet. Nope. And uh, so I'll see when we get to the customs. I'll, I'll see if I can get a picture of which ones he puts in so you guys can see it. But if you haven't followed um, Cool51 Designs on Instagram, go follow that. Because Albert does some just crazy good stuff. Look at that. That's all sculpted stuff. So. So this is kind of like Hot Wheel Geek fan photos. <laughs> thank you, Albert. Thank you. And I'll, I'll thank Jimmy when I see him. He'll be back in a bit.